really? Okay, somebody asked me what would happen if you fell from a great height into a swimming pool containing just one chemical element. So you can't have water because that's hydrogen and oxygen, just one element. So from any reasonable height, you're going to reach terminal velocity, which is about 120 miles an hour. Um, Olympic divers can hit about 35 miles an hour. Cliff divers hit 60 miles an hour. So the kind of speeds we're talking about. Assuming you're going to do this at room temperature, styrofoam might be a good choice, but it's not a single element, so we can't use that. Um, there are only two room temperature liquid metals. One is mercury and the other is bromine. Hitting mercury at 60 miles an hour would be fatal. It would be like hitting a brick wall. The stuff is so dense. Bromine is highly reactive and that would do you no good at all. That would kill you for sure. Uh, so now we're down to solids and gases. Well, for gas to work, the swimming pool would have to be awfully deep to slow you down enough to not hit the bottom at high speed. So that's really not going to work. So we're back to solids. The softest solid at room temperature is cesium. It's close to its melting point, so it's kind of soft. It might work. The only problem is it explodes in contact with your wa with water, and our bodies are mostly made of water, so there will be a very big kaboom. Uh, gallium, rubidium, francium might be liquid on a hot day, I mean, a really hot day. Uh, gallium, though, as a solid, has very sharp edges, so you want to be real careful to make sure it's all liquid. Um, it's not going to work. Uh, rubidium will be liquid, um, but it also explodes on contact with water. And worse than that, when it does that, the water breaks up into hydrogen and oxygen, which would then produce another explosion after the first explosion. So you don't want to fall into that. Uh, francium is radioactive. Its half-life is measured in minutes. So if you're very quick, you could hit francium, but most likely you would convert into something else and it will cook you before you hit the water. So before you hit the ground, whatever, that's not going to work. I mean, there is really nothing here. Xenon might be the nearest possible. Xenon is about three times denser than air. So with a dense, deep enough pool, you might survive. But basically, you don't want to be falling into any elements. You want a compound of some kind. Water, for example.